end the game until now is this one we got coins and we got these uh, meteors coming down but the behavior is the same for the coin and the meter so let's differentiate it first of all we are going to create another sprite another texture hit texture that will be uh, the texture of the alien when uh, it will be hit that is this one then we have to create uh, a new function here called new game where we want to essentiate we want to start again after the player is hit and uh, so new new game and we will we'll bring back all the condition to the initial state the score to zero the work state to minus one the list of, of it must be empty so now when uh, when the game uh, with the setup we are going to call this function the first time and then every time that it uh, it starts again uh, we are going to make another another change here and we are going to to remove all the item from the list and is uh, there is this And so for item in self list of items, we are going to delete all the items, remove from parent, and okay, so to clear all the items that um, the programs are listing and after this we we are going to um, to create another variable there is the value of the game over to understand if uh, we have to run the program of from zero and then uh, we will also we get the score to zero but we also have to write it in the in the label label score equal will be zero and uh, then we have to put again the position of the player in the middle the player position and so it is in the middle of the screen self sites with slash 2 and 41 is the ypsilon the vertical and we are going to create also another variable self speed equal 1 that we will use later and then we have to also to define the, the initial texture that will be the standing texture. Okay, this will happen when the games begins again, ends and begins again. Now we got to, let's see if there is some, we got to you know, make a difference. We got to make a difference. Sorry, here we got to put text score dot text equal zero. Now we make we gotta make a difference, as we said, among the the collision with coins and with coins. 
collision with coins and the collision with the meteor. So let's move this here and let's put another condition here. We will use this function if instance of item is coin. So as the coin are created with the class coin, um, this will recognize that the item is created with coin and so it will uh, make the sound and remove it from the parent, remove from the list, add the score and uh, write the score. So if now we If now we run this, you see that nothing happens. When we encounter um, a meteor, so and something happen when it needs a coin. So here we put an S condition, and we are going to create a new function that is called uh, hit that we will call hit player or player player hit maybe okay and uh, will be a function inside this class so self player hit let's call it this way and let's go here player hit always with self inside because we are into a class so we will make the the variable game over equal to true because the game will end then we will make a, a sound um, like a crash like this after we make this sound we will change the texture of our player that is hidden that is is hit and texture equal hit texture that we've seen at the beginning and then we will make our player go down and we will make an action run an action that will start with will be a sequence so more action the first uh, First section will be um, we just have one one action that is action move by zero and minus one hundred and thirty fifty. Okay, let's see. This here, the player is hidden and it goes down with that sound. Um, but now we want to make the game um, start again. But you want to also make a little pause. So run action. So we will make an action sequence.
to make him wait. So there will be first a pause, a wait of two seconds. So two for self speed. That we put to one at the as we seen before, and then we will make at the end of this pose we will call the new game um, the new game function so it will start again. Let's see if I will think. Here it is. So okay, it kind of work. There is some um, something to adjust still and Okay, self um, we have to go in the update because you've seen that there is some uh, something that is not perfect and in the arcade we will say that if self game game mode so that it will not update while the player is hit okay if say game over return this will fix that okay as you can see now when the player is hit you won't see it anymore for two seconds all will go back to to the start and the score is back to zero okay this is we are almost at the the end of our of our tutorial the the last video of this tutorial will be the video that will make our that you see is still here when the player is hit we will fix this in the next video um, we will be able to destroy the materials with the computer laser with another intersection of, of these two sprites so see you soon in the next and last video